Okay, so you finished your shot and now you're ready to publish and send your files away. So, check your camera, film back, and focal. Make sure that if you have that information provided, you put in the correct information. Mine is incorrect. Ignore that. Uh, next, make sure that you have the render resolution for your project uh, entered in here. For me, it's a little bit different since uh, Synthize expands the resolution when you export with a uh, distortion like this. It's going to look a little different for some people. Some studios will ask that you revert this to the working resolution as well as the film back and focal because again, Synthize will expand this to account for the extra resolution. But yeah, depending on who you're working for or what you're doing, you might have to care about that. If you're working for yourself, uh, don't worry about it. It's a pretty good thing that Synthize does the math and expands your stuff. But yeah, we'll move on from there. What else do I got? Anti-aliasing. Make sure that you have anti-aliasing turn, uh, turned on. You want the lines to look nice and clean in your play blast. If you have jagged, crooked lines, it's going to trick you into thinking there's some popping and you it'll be harder for you to tell if things are sticking. Uh, okay, so shading. Whoops, let me actually, I, yeah, that's what I have to turn this on. I have to talk about this too. Use background. Uh, use background and wireframe unshaded. So yeah, you hit four on your keyboard and you get this disgusting looking view. It looks terrible. Uh, so what you want to do is take all your geo in your scene. You could select your folder, uh, your group, sorry, right click, uh, assign favorite material, use background, and then hit five on your keyboard and you get these occluded wireframes. Super, super clean. Now you're not uh, looking through walls with x-ray vision. Uh, you don't have all this overlapping geometry that's kind of confusing your eye on what's sticking. Uh, what else do we have? Layers. So I'm going to hit 5, go back there. Layers. Uh, make sure that you have your camera, your proxies, and your locators all organized within their own layers. I had a script to just select this top down to make these layers, but you could select your stuff, click this uh, new layer with assigned objects, color it whatever you want, name it whatever you want, and there you go. I'm going to right click, delete. Uh, outliner, organization. Make sure that your camera, all your groups, and all your objects are nicely labeled and organized. You don't want to pass off your gross layout to somebody who has to work with it and then sift through the debris of your awful garbage. Uh, what else? Scene clean. We have a button for Attract the Effects that cleans up our scene. It finds like unused nodes and shaders and stuff. But for now, I'm just going to go up to File, Optimize Scene Size, Options, and I don't know what else needs to be changed, but typically we just turn on unknown nodes. Remove. Optimize. And this is an undoable action, so wait until the end. Now that we've talked about that, let's jump into Play Blast settings. So I'm going to right click, come to Play Blast, and oh, I can't drag it over. There we go. So all I'm going to say here is make your format like QuickTime, and hopefully you have QuickTime installed so it shows up here. So QuickTime, Photo JPEG, and this is a pretty decent format that we use at TrackVFX. Uh, from render settings, so again, make sure that you have the correct resolution in here set for your project. And if you're working with 4K, you might want to drop this down to 0.5 so that you're working at half res of 4K. So, you know, 0.5 means you're going to render this at HD, at 1920 by 1080. Uh, right now, I kind of like the full resolution, so I'm going to go just one full resolution. Uh, let's see. Save to file. Check that off. And now it's going to ask you where to save. And I already did all that. And I gave it this name. Uh, I gave it the date, the initials of the artist, the name of the shot, the software, or whatever, like scene, like, I don't know, layout, modeling, tracking, whatever you want to call that. And then your version. So I'm just going to hit browse just so you can quickly see. So yeah, I would have opened up this window and then I would have named the file here like so. Might as well save overwrite, sure. And once you have all of that set, uh, make sure that nothing is selected in your viewport. And I have this off already, the HUD here. So if you had this turned on, this stuff would all appear in your play blast. So I'm going to turn that off. It's up to you if you want to show any fancy stuff in your Play Blast. Uh, but yes, make sure that nothing is selected. So I'm going to click one of these cameras over here and then just hit... Oh, also, I don't want to show my locators. I have Geo and then I have Cones for any other lingering details. So I'm going to hit Play Blast. Okay. 
Come on. There we go. So you can see we got the full resolution that we have set to our project. And let's say that these lines are too thin. For the record, I think these lines are perfect. These look great. They don't like overlap over here because they're too thick, but let's say you need your lines to be a little bit thicker for your for your play blast. You can come over to your system preferences, come to display, and then you have line width. So let's just exaggerate it and go up to three. There we go. We got some extra thick lines. And if for some reason you really, really needed to, you can select your geo just to highlight some stuff and put them under a new layer. Let's call, let's make this, uh, I don't know, light, a lighter blue just to put some emphasis on them a little bit. Wow, that's not very emphasizing. Well, it kind of, it kind of is over here. Also, where'd my camera layer go? What happened? I'm going to select my stuff here and hit my layers button. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I did there. I'll probably have to see what I did in the playback. Uh, okay, so I hate those lines. I'm going to reset that. And with all that being said, I believe I am done talking about published stuff. Actually, no, I'm not. So you've rendered out your play blast. You're going to want to send that to whoever is, you know, well, going to be getting your track so they, they can see at a glance whether or not they're happy with what's going on. But now they need the camera. So most clients just tend to ask for the Maya file for us. But yes, yeah, so you could just save it, send them a Maya file, and then you have this. Everyone's happy. Some people might want an FBX file. So select your stuff, go to export selection, and select whatever format you need. There's FBX and there's... There is some Alembic stuff. I don't remember where that is. Cache, Alembic cache, export selection to Alembic. Yeah, so that's all there is, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, well, good luck. And yeah, this was hopefully a much shorter video. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got nothing else. Later.